I was recently interviewed by one of the top credit repair specialists in Connecticut, and he asked me about my best advice for social media and artificial intelligence. And so I jam packed this one hour long interview into the top six minutes of jam packed social media and AI advice to help you grow your business to new heights. So, that being said, let's get right into the video. Right now, I think I'm scheduled into somewhere, I don't even know at this point anymore, somewhere mid November. I got like almost another like 15 reels I got to schedule out. So, um, I think I may be good for the rest of the year, but. <laughs> I forget at this point, man. I got videos like the video you probably seen in my IG today. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Uh, it was a video from literally I did a speaking engagement a little over two years ago and or a year and a half ago. Maybe I took the raw footage from that and then I turned that into a bunch of reels and then I scheduled those out. And so some, I don't know what gets posted. I'm barely on IG myself, like looking at my own stuff. So every now and then I'll see I'm like, oh. I remember that day and it's like a year ago, six months ago, three months ago. And a lot of people don't understand. There's this, let me break down this misconception. A lot of people think that when you schedule out content, you'll get less engagement because the platforms want you to post natively. And what I'd say to that is more in most cases, your favorite influencer is probably scheduling their content. Your favorite influencer has probably scheduled their content for years now and you've probably never realized why because when you get good content when you create good content it's going to perform well regardless i think a lot of people spend too much time focusing on the algorithm and trying to make sure all the i's are dotted and the t's are crossed but they don't even have any content to really optimize and also on that note is what are you optimizing for if you're optimizing for vanity to go viral and to get the most amount of views, likes, engagement. Well, maybe you might get a little bit of a dip in engagement than if you were to post natively. I, I always talk about this when it comes to content creation, right? There's two paths of content creation. There's the path of the influencer and the path of the business owner. Right? And so when you're going down the path of the influencer, the main metrics you're really worried about there is vanity, right? Likes, views, maybe comments or saves, whatever it may be. And the main way you monetize that is through, you know, getting paid for your content, um, like the YouTube AdSense, brand partnerships, sponsorships, you know, the things of things of that nature, advertisements. When you're going down the path of the business owner, it's very different. You're, there, you're focused on met the metrics you're focused on is more centered around conversions. How many leads opted into your new funnel? How many leads opted into your lead magnet? How many of those leads turn into sales appointments? Whatever it may be. But the metrics you're tracking are very different. And there, in that, in that path, the way you make money is by getting clients or selling products, wherever it may be. And so when you're optimizing, right, first have clarity about what path you want to head down. Not saying that there's one right path or wrong path, it's just which path do you want to choose and then optimize for the path that you're heading down. What may go viral may not get you any clients to opt in. And what gets you clients to opt in may not get you a million views. And both are okay. Just know what you want and then optimize based on that. And also, if you're not creating content right now, currently, if you're not posting at least three to five times a week, and I'm talking like short form content, if you're posting one YouTube video a week, that's perfectly fine. If you focus on short form content and you're not posting at least three to five pieces of content a week, stop focusing on content and focus on getting, you know, on optimizing, focus on getting stuff out to the world. Like what's perfect if you have, you know, the perfect piece of content you post once a year. Like a lot of, or some people don't post any content at all. Some people will go weeks, months because, oh, it just, I don't have an editor and it doesn't look pretty and it doesn't look cute and it doesn't have the fancy, you know, highly edited, highly produced B-roll and captions. It's like, well, how long are you going to keep that holding you back? There's a bunch of people going viral. There's a bunch of people making super, you know, good content with just the iPhone and just, propping it up and talking into the camera, right? So I would say create first, optimize second. And then when you do start optimizing, know what you're optimizing for. Business owner path, influencer path. Right there, this is a writer downer, right? Writer downer right now, I'm about to drop some fire for you guys. If you know what you posted today, you're not scheduled far out enough, All right? Write that down. If you know what you posted today, you're not scheduled out far enough, right? You were saying that right, you scheduled out two weeks. All right, cool, right? Everyone's scheduled out, but you're scheduled out. You probably not, if you don't look at your phone, do you know what you posted today? You may know, 
You may not. I don't know. You know, you know what? Okay. <laughs> so you gotta you you gotta start scheduling further out in advance, man. If you know what you post today, you gotta schedule out further. You know, you're not scheduled out far enough. And I was um a while ago, I was writing down a, a sales copy for uh, a funnel that I'm doing or that I did a while ago. And I was talking about, and this is gonna should apply very well to your audience because your audience is in personal finance and budgeting, a lot of stuff, right? A lot of times, like when we talk about living paycheck to paycheck, it's people think about money, right? People think about how much is in their bank. A lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck with their content. So let me let me break it down for you guys. Let me break it down, right? A lot of people right now don't have any content saved in their bank account, in their vault, right? They have no content saved, meaning if they don't show up today to make a video, then no video gets posted. And so they're screwed. They have to show up every single day to work. In this case, make more content so that they can have something to constantly put out. And if they don't show up today, nothing gets posted right? and they have nothing saved. The only way to start getting freedom to be creative and start getting better content and start optimizing, right, is to have enough content saved up in your vault so that you can go weeks, months, maybe even a whole year. I haven't got to that point yet, but you get to a point far enough where if I don't post today, I'm good until late November. Easy. So meaning I have now a lot more time to dedicate and focus on putting out quality content. I'm making a better, po you know, a better video. I'm making a more highly produced video. I have content saved. I'm not stressing. I'm not worried. And when you're coming from a place of scarcity, right, the scarcity mindset, and you're not operating out of abundance, you're never putting out your best work. You're just putting enough to get out there. You're just putting enough to get by normally because you need to post today. You need to stay consistent. You can't break the streak. And so doing stuff like this, as I said, like you see me right now, Carnell, like this is all getting repurposed, reposed, right? All of it is getting repurposed. <laughs> this is going to be clips on clips on clips on clips, right? And then what? Turn that into more content so I can get further out. And then I could spend time brainstorming, masterminding. All right, let me make a fire video. Like, all right, let me talk to some people and start picking their brains and see what my audience really needs, what problems they're really suffering from, what are their pain points, what are their obstacles, what's getting in their way, what's roadblocks they have, and really spend a lot of time in one video because I know I got time, right? And so save up content. The same way you take 10% or 15%, whatever of your paycheck and putting in your savings account, Start making videos and saving it to your vault. Start adding your vault up, building your vault up and scheduling that out so you have enough to spend, uh, you know, to roam around freely on a day-to-day. If you don't want to post a video today, you're not feeling confident, you're feeling a little sick, you're under the weather, cool, skip today. You're good, you're not worried. So stop living paycheck to paycheck with your content creation. Start batch recording, start bulk recording, start repurposing content so you can have enough saved then leverage something like Metricool to schedule it out so you don't have to be stressed about whether something's getting posted today or not. If you're still watching and you find the video valuable, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more AI and marketing tips every single week. And if you want to know how I use ChatGPT to make a year's worth of content in under 10 minutes, make sure to click on this free video right here.